Hi guys, welcome to our next Pilates class. Got outside again, which is awesome. Go ahead and find a good spot for you to be with enough space around you. And if you can get outside, that's fantastic. Lots of coordination today, lots of abs, lots of leg movement too. It will definitely strengthen that core, work your brains, and just make you feel better taking this time for yourself. So, set yourself up on your mat or on the ground, wherever you are. Feeling nice and aligned, feeling nice and centered. Bring both knees in and just rock side to side. And then let the knees fall one way, turn your head the other way if you want. Just a quick little stretch here. And then let your knees fall the other direction. Head can stay center or it can turn the opposite way. So we're starting out symmetrical in the body to reinforce that alignment or to find that alignment. Bring your feet on the ground, knees bent, legs parallel, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, and toes in the same line. We're gonna start with just some curl ups. Take your hands behind your head, keep your elbows wide and curl up. You can lower all the way, or you can just do a small lower and lift, more of like a pulse than a curl. I apologize for my shaky video. Hmm. So we're curling the upper body, we're keeping that pelvis nice and still. Take those legs to tabletop if you're ready. Keep that curl up happening. Try to have your shins parallel to the ground in tabletop. Open chest, open elbows. Take those feet down, keep those tiny pulses up, and up, and up, and up, and up. Ribs are soft, sliding down the front of the body. Take one leg to tabletop, do three, two, one, straighten that leg for five, four, three, two, one, switching sides, left leg to tabletop, five times pulsing up. Check those hips. If they feel like they're moving around, feel free to take your hands there. Extend that left leg long for five. And then taking the feet down. Few more pulses up. I lied to you. That, that's a lot more than a few. Go ahead and rest down. Make sure you're breathing throughout. Feeling those deep inhales, deep exhales. Bring that right leg in. You're going to take your left leg long. Hug that right knee in for a moment, and then we're going to stretch that hamstring. Stretch the back of that right leg. If you want to open the right leg to the right, let it cross the body over to the left and get any additional stretching, you can go for it. When you're ready, switch sides and do the same on the left. Feel free to pause if you need more stretching here. You can point and flex those feet. You can rotate the ankles too. So we're going to have both legs up. You're going to extend both legs long and then bend to tabletop. You can have your head lifted or down. You can have your arms down or reaching long or behind your head. Or you can add movement of the arms to coordinate with the legs. The core is staying nice and still and stable and your head is nice and still. Unless you're gripping in your neck, then you can gently turn that head side to side. You can rest the head down if you need to. And then you'll rest everything down. Take both legs long again, lower the left and lift the right, and then switch. Try to stretch the legs as long as you can behind the knee. Head can be lifted or down, arms are where you want them to be. We're going to do some variations of this single leg, single straight leg stretch. Try to not let your body move, just those legs are moving, strengthening that core. Lower the left, have the right lifted, bend both in and stretch long. Bending and straightening and bending and stretching long. We're going to do two more. Feel free to open the legs further on these last few. And then we're going to switch sides. Right leg is low, left leg is high. Bending in and stretching long. Again, if those hips are moving around, take your hands on your hips as a cue, as a guide to keep them still and stable and aligned. And then rest down. A couple more variations of that. Stretching through the legs and articulating through the feet today. 
moving that pelvis around a little bit to loosen up that low back. When we're working our legs long and extending away, sometimes our uh, pelvis can shift. So we have our legs turned out, and we're doing the same thing with turned out legs. It's going to feel a little weird, but we're working that rotation. <laughs> if you're in a public park like I am, then it's, you'll feel weird like I did. <laughs> you can, again, exaggerate the length and then open the legs more for the last few if you feel like you want to. And then rest down in between just about three three sets of each, or I should say three times of bending and straightening. Leg circles, nice and easy. Try to not let your legs bounce together. Once they come together, they're glued together until you open them again. Legs can rotate as they open, about five in each direction. Head can be up or down, arms can be where you need them to be. Stretching and lengthening through the legs, opening up the hips. Working that rotation in the legs as well. And then rest down. We're going to see that circular motion again. We're going to do a single leg version. Lower the left, keep the right lifted, and circle out for three. And two. And one, and then we're going to switch sides left leg will circle out. Keep your right leg lifted off the ground if you can. It's going to work even more. And then we're going to rest for just a moment and then we're going to reverse the direction of that circle. You'll circle the leg in towards your midline, down, out, and back up. Try to keep that bottom leg still. And switching sides, circling for three, and two, and one. And then rest everything down. Rock side to side a little if you need to. your feet on the mat, hands can rest where you need them to come back to that alignment, come back to the center. Let your low back relax in case it was starting to grip or tense. Do a little, uh, ooh, we're not going to do what I thought we were going to do. <laughs> You're going to lower one leg, we're going to bend in and straighten, and we're going to circle both in opposition. Bend in and stretch long, and then reverse your circle. I am staying parallel in my bend. I'm rotating in my circle. You can do what feels right for you today. My head is lifted. My arms are down to help stabilize. And then I rest down. Now we're going to bridge. <laughs> So lifting those hips off the ground and then you'll lower back down, but try to peel your spine up and then place that spine back down. Try to feel, again, I keep saying it, that alignment, that stability. Right side is equal to the left side. And if it's not, check in and see what's going on. Do you feel like your right leg is tighter than your left? Maybe bring your attention to the left side. Tell yourself that I'm going to engage my left side a little bit more this next time. When you're lifted in that bridge, if you want, lift your toes off and then lift your heels off and lower your heels and then lift your toes again, place your toes down and then lift your heels. Try to stay parallel. So don't let your weight go to the outside or inside of your feet as you're lifting one or the other and see how that makes your legs work differently or it engages different parts of your legs. With the heels lifted, you'll roll down, you'll put the heels down, and then you'll lift back into that bridge. Lift the heels, keep the heels lifted. Lengthen, 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 lengthen. As you go down, once your tailbone touches, lower the heels, and again, lift into the bridge. Long line from your shoulders to your knees. Lift your heels. Keep the heels lifted. Lengthen through the spine. You're growing even longer, even taller as you go down. This is the last one, I believe. Nope, I lied. We're doing it again. <laughs> that was the last one. Let your bottoms of your feet come together. Let those knees open. If it feels good, you can also turn your legs in, letting your knees touch and your feet be as wide as your mat. 
breathing, relaxing for a moment. Bring those legs in, rock side to side a little bit. I'm going to go right into a little twist. Opposite leg is long, elbows are open, armpits are reaching towards your knees. Rotating to a little bicycle here. Thinking, feeling, shoulders and hips aligned, working opposition. Try to stretch that long leg long instead of kicking it out long. A similar except no twisting. Hands are there as a guide to make sure those legs stay parallel when they bend, but if you don't need them there, up to you. You can reach them long, you can move them with the legs, adding a little coordination. You can also have them behind your head if you want. Doing a lot of little things today. Stretch both legs on. We're going right into our hundreds, inhaling and exhaling. You can inhale for five, exhale for five, or inhale and exhale as long as you can. Arms are nice and strong from your back. Legs are what you want them to be. Head can be up or down. Try to keep a steady pulse going with those arms. Belly button is coming down towards the ground. You can point and flex those feet. You can lift and lower the legs. Make sure you're breathing. Finishing up, almost there. And rest everything down. Stretch your left leg long on the ground. Bring that right knee in towards you and take a little twist. You can let the right arm be long on the ground. You can have the elbow bent. You can have the hand down, the hand towards the sky, whatever you need. Getting a twist through the spine and getting a stretch along that right hand. Feel free to hang out there longer if you need to. Just hit pause. So we're gonna do a little reformer, a version of a reformer, but on the mat of footwork. So heels are together, feet are slightly flexed. You're gonna bend your knees and then stretch long. Imagine that your heels are traveling along the midline of your body. Heels are pressing together the whole time. And it's as if your toes are on the flip bar, if you know what the reformer is. I'm gonna come parallel everything together. Same thing, bending in and then stretch long. Legs are bending in, but your pelvis is not moving. So when your knees come in towards you, your tailbone reaches out away from you. That will help keep your pelvis still. Bring those legs hip distance apart. Keep them hip distance apart. Flex those feet and bend in and push away, stretching long. The challenge, one of the challenges being to keep the distance between the legs as it is the whole time and to move both legs equally. Rotate, turn out, take the legs a little bit wider, keep those feet flexed, same thing. Bending in and pressing out, keep that distance between the legs, stay loose and open in the hips. Try to have the legs be symmetrical. If they're not, just check in and notice what they're doing and how they're off. No judgment. Resting for a moment, breathing, checking back into the body. You're going to come all the way up. We're going to do some roll downs. So I don't do many because my mat was coming with me for everyone I did. So take a little stretch forward. If you want to do more, again, pause. Feel free. Go ahead and do more if you need to. You're going to have the legs be about hip distance apart or all the way together, and you'll have those feet flexed. Arms are going to reach along in front of you. Shoulders are down. We're going to round down, roll down. Trying to place one vertebrae at a time down onto the mat. Let the arms continue overhead. Don't open the ribs. You want to keep your legs long. Don't watch what I'm doing. <laughs> Take an exhale as you round up. Inhale to sit tall. On your next exhale, you will round back. Tuck the pelvis. Scoop under. Placing one part of the spine at a time. Sequentially down. Ideally, your mat stays where it is. It might come with you too, so you might know what I'm dealing with. <laughs> exhale brings you back up and then stretch forward. Again, if you wanna do a couple more, pause, go ahead and feel free to do a couple more. 
lengthening and stretching through that spine, articulating through the spine, keeping those legs on. A little side stretch and a little bit of a shoulder opening. So you go left hand down, take the right arm overhead, keep the right shoulder down, keep space between your arm and your ear. You can have that left fingers on the ground and walk your hand out, or you can have your left elbow on the ground. Wherever you're at is fine. I feel like you're curving over something. You're going to take that right arm, swing it behind, wrap it behind your back. That right shoulder is opening away from the midline. Head is turning in the opposite direction. You're going to reverse. Bring that right arm back overhead. Round your torso forward. Stay forward. Hang out there for a minute. Shake the head if you need to. And then gently round up. And do the other side. Right hand down, left arm over, left shoulder, and shoulder blade down. Ribs are closed. Space between your ear and your arm. Walk that right hand out further or let the elbow come down to the ground. Keep both butt cheeks on the ground also. That will help the alignment. Breathing. Reach that left arm down and behind your back and that left shoulder is going to start, um, rotate away, opening, opening, opening. Head is turned the opposite direction to get a little deeper stretch. Now reach that right, that our left arm back and then around the torso forward again. Take a little stretch if you need. And then coming on up. We're gonna do some side. Nope. <laughs> do I watch these before I do the recording? Who has an answer? Hands and knees. Go ahead and round through the spine. And then arch. Enjoy the articulation and enjoy the movement of your pelvis. If you need more or less in one area or another, feel free to adjust as you need. When you are arched, feel like your hips are opening. I'm going to come down to forearms and elbows. There was something on the ground underneath my mat, so I had to adjust a little bit. But ideally, you'll be centered on your mat. Yeah, I don't know what it was either. So toes are tucked under. You're going to press down in the forearms. You're going to press down in the toes. You're just going to lift the knees. And you're going to bend in the right leg and then straighten behind. Bend in and straighten behind. Don't move anything else. Just five, four. We're going to do four. Whew. Left leg. Stretch long and then bend in, but don't move that hip. Try to stretch and not kick like I am creeping up on and then rest down you do a few things here in this position so back to that starting place knees lifted stretch long lift up and down and up and down and up and down and in and then left leg up and down parallel we are going to turn out next but stay parallel for now there we go there's that turn out Try to not let your right hip, your hip um, lift too, too much. We are opening that hip and we're stretching, but we still want to be mindful of our alignment. We're going to rest down for a moment. You can take a child's pose if it feels good. Deep inhales and deep exhales. When you're ready, come on back out. Back to forearms and elbows. Toes, toes will be tucked under. We're going to be in a plank position. Just a little bend and straighten of one leg, just three times, and then the other, just as a little test of do I have, am I balanced? Am I aligned? Can I keep everything else still while this one part moves? And then we're going to do a little lifts on one side, just three. Try not to let the opposite hip drop. And then rest down. You can make those sequentially larger lifts if you want, or they can all be the same height up to you. When you're ready, come on back to forearms and elbows or lies. Come to your hands, take it down, dog. 
Lift and lower those heels, bend one knee and then the other. Feel your spine stretching out. Our spines get compressed a lot, so we're gonna try to lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. So now we are on our hands and we are on our hands and we're bending one knee in and then stretching that leg long. Similar to what you just did, except now we're up on our hands and we have a little more room to bend our leg in. We're gonna do a variation of this. Going towards the center, out, and then lift. Bend in towards the center to the outside of your arm and then lift. Bending to the middle, to the outside, and stretch long. Bending in and out and stretch long. Take that down dog if it feels good. If you would rather rest in a child's pose, that's fine. And you're gonna rest all the way down. In this child's pose, you can keep your hands centered. You can take them to one side and then the other if you wanna get a deeper stretch on one side. Deep inhales, deep exhales, feel that low back opening. Now, we're gonna do some side leg. So set yourself up on the right side of your body to start. Have that right arm supporting your head and have a little bit of engagement in that right arm. Legs are long and parallel. Left leg is going to lift and lower. Stay in parallel, don't lift the hip. And then you lift hip height, bend in, and then stretch long, and then lift and lower. Bend in, stretch long, lift and lower. Try to have heart, try to not be collapsed down on the mat. So my right arm is active and my right leg is still super active as well. Lots of things are working. Rotate, turn those legs out, lift and lower. You can point to lift and flex to come strongly down. That left hand is on the ground if you need it to be. You want to feel that top hip reaching long, long, long. Bend in, stretch long, and then long down. Rotate, 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 stretch long, and strongly down. Heel slides up, leg stretches long, and down the thigh bone stays where it is when that leg straightens. One more. Keep the legs turned out and beat the heels together, lifting that bottom leg. Test your balance if you want to. Come parallel, beat those legs together again. And then legs will stay long, one leg forward, one leg back, and then switch. Go slow and make it small to start. And if you feel stable, you can make it bigger. How far can you stretch those legs? Make sure you're breathing. Leg circles. Rotating just three. And then reversing. Both legs are turned out. My bottom leg is lifted. Awesome if yours can be too. And then bend the knees in. We rest down for a moment. We're going to have both knees bent. Adjust that right arm if you need to. Take a minute. Make sure that alignment is still there. Shoulders and hips nice and aligned. Abs are working. But you should know that by now. Turn in and turn out really free right now in regards to that left hip. Just getting a little internal rotation and external rotation. Then we're going to do a bigger circle, allowing that top hip to move. Let the rest of your body move a little bit, really just about getting that rotation. It's not about controlling it right now, it's just getting that mobility and getting that movement, and then you'll reverse about five in each direction. Um, you can let the bottom leg move a little bit too if it wants to, try not to control too much here. And now we're gonna do it the right way, we're gonna start parallel. Keep the hip down, keep the hip still. Foot is flexed towards the back, towards the front, just one more like that, and then we'll go into our circles proper, keeping the hips stable, keeping the hips stacked, top hip over bottom hip. Do five of these in each direction. I start it towards the back and then we're going to reverse to the back and then rotate towards the front. My hand is there as a guide to make sure that hip is reaching down and not hiking up. And then rest down 
And once you're done, you're going to come to your back and do a little figure four stretch on that side. And then we'll do the whole thing on the other side. Crossing left ankle over right knee, holding on to that right leg. Just rest for a minute. If you need longer here, feel free to take longer. So once we get to the other side, you may or may not notice that I forgot to do two things. But through the magic of editing, it's still in there. See if you can catch it. Enjoy this stretch in the meantime. When you're ready, uncross. Make your way to the other side. So you'll be on your left side. You have the left arm supporting your head in whatever way is good for you. But be active. So if you can, have your um, left shoulder off the ground and have that left leg engaged as well. Abs are helping in that and the right arm is where you need it to be. Legs are parallel, you're gonna lift and lower, stretch long to lift and lower. Leg is lifting, not the hip. And then hip height, knee bends in, leg stretches long, lift and lower. Knee bends in but not the hip and not the pelvis. If anything, your pelvis reaches longer away from you as that knee comes in. Stretch long, stretch and lengthen to lift. Rotate, turn out. Right hand is where you need it to be. Stretch that leg long to lift, pressing down. That top hip is gonna want to lift. So really think reaching away, 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 away. Don't let it lift, it wants to. But you can do it, you can keep it where it is. Rotate, stretch on, and down. Bending the knee, stretch on, and down. Sliding the heel up, stretch on. And down. Take another moment to stretch slightly more than I am. Flexing as you come down. Keep that rotation. Beat those heels together. Test your balance if you want. Parallel. Beat those legs together again. And then we're going to go right into one leg forward and one leg back. Nice and slow and steady with this one. Really feeling the stretch, enjoying the stretch. And also whatever you're wearing or whatever surface you're on might affect the movement of your bottom leg, just so you know. So it might not be you, it might be your clothes or what you're on. Top leg is going, or yes, top leg will rotate towards the back three times. Both legs are turned out, my bottom leg is lifted, and then you'll reverse three times towards the front. Hips stay stacked. You're going to bend the knees and rest down for just a moment. Both knees will be bent. Adjust if you need to. Check that alignment again. Turning in and turning out with that top leg nice and free for now. going to do our circles. You can think that they can be ugly circles, the free circles. It's just about getting that rotation, feeling that rotation within the hip. And then reversing about five in each direction. Try to not let your heel be too close to your um, uh, glute. You're going to have a little bit of space between your heel and the back of your leg not too much of a bend in your knee. And then rest down for just a minute. We're gonna do these proper now, keeping the hips nice and aligned, nice and stacked. You'll have both legs bent and stay parallel initially and just two times to go towards the back, open the front of that hip and then coming forward, stretching that hamstring. And then we'll start our rotation towards the back and parallel forward, rotate back parallel forward. Bottom side is stable, anchored, nice and strong. And then when you're ready, we'll reverse. Parallel back, lift to rotate and come forward. Parallel back, lift, rotate, 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 come forward, three more. 
that hip is staying down, it's continuing to reach long, it's continuing to stay open as well. Rest everything down, come onto your back, we'll stretch out that so as you're gonna cross that right ankle over left knee, hold on to the back of that left leg. You can keep the left foot down if that's enough of a stretch, that's okay too. As you gently pull those legs towards you, feel your tailbone reaching down in opposition away from you. Nice inhales and exhales. Coming back to the alignment, coming back to the center. No rush when you're ready, you can uncross. Take another moment if you need. Shake those like that, stretch your leg long if you need to. And we're gonna come on up, do some teasers right away. Mm, adjust if you need to. <laughs> Take those legs to tabletop position. Reach the arms long. Reach the arms overhead. Don't move the ribs. Press the arms down. Reach the arms up and press down. Arms are only lifting as much as the shoulders can stay down and the ribs stay closed. So they might not be directly at the sides of your head. Stay balanced. Press those legs together. Find some stability there. And then stretch one leg long. And then the other leg long. And again. Rest for a moment, round forward if it feels good. We're gonna keep going with this, couple more variations. <laughs> Wipe the sweat from your face. <laughs> Check the space behind you. Our upper body is going to roll down with control. Let the arms go overhead. Take the arms towards the sky, exhale. Round up, balance, slowly round down. You can let your arms start to move a little bit sooner than mine are. Legs are pressing together. Straighten both legs and bend and stretch long. And bend, we're almost there, stretch long. And bend, don't forget to breathe, stretch long. Bending in and then resting down. Good guys, that's it for teasers. You made it, you did it. We're gonna do a little stretch for those hips. Cross right leg over left, ankle over knee, and knee over ankle. Your legs might not be flat. They might not be directly one on top of the other, that's okay. Flex your feet to protect your knees. Walk your hands forward as much as you want to. You can round through the spine, or you can have a flat back. Whatever you need. Flat back will look like that, walking the hands away. You can let your head drop in round if you want to as well. Just give you a nice stretch in that top leg hip. So if your right leg is on top, you're gonna need a stretch in that right hip. No rush when you're ready. Come on up. And do a little switcheroo. Left leg over right, ankle over knee, knee over ankle, feet are flexed, make sure those hips are level, both butt cheeks are on the ground, and then walk those hands away, round or flat, or a combination of both, whatever your body needs. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Taking the time to stretch. And gently turn the head side to side, loosen up the neck. And then when you're ready, you walk your hands back in. A little rotating, you're gonna bend your right knee, cross your right leg over, have that right foot on the ground, both butt cheeks are on the ground. Twist your torso to the right, have the right fingertips reaching behind you. That right shoulder opening like we did before. Your focus is towards the right as well. And make sure you're not looking down, but you're looking straight ahead. 
We're sitting tall on the end, inhale, and then as you exhale, you're twisting a little bit further. When you're ready, we're gonna switch sides. You can have that bottom leg be long if you need to, or you can have it bent. We want both butt cheeks down. Right arm is wrapped around the leg, and then that left arm is reaching long behind. Inhale to lengthen the spine, exhale to twist a little bit further, and then that left shoulder is opening. Try to have that right shoulder be opening as well. Try to not have that right shoulder turned forward, rotated forward. We want everything nice and open, open, open. So a little bit of a stretch for the hip, but it's mostly about twisting that spine and opening up the chest. When you're ready, coming back center. You're gonna come to Hands and knees, you're gonna come to down dog. Lift and lower those heels, stretch there, do what you need to do in this down dog position as we finish up. Come to a plank position for just a moment. If you want, bend and straighten the legs without moving anything else. You can do it, you can do it. And then back to that down dog. Walking, uh, bending the knees down and up here. You can let your uh, hips move for a couple. And then if you want to challenge yourself and try not to let the hips move, it'll be a little less of a bend in your knees. Again, maintaining that length in your spine. Add a little heel lift as well. Walk your feet in about halfway. Try to keep the legs long as you take that walk in. Bend the knees, walk your hands towards your feet. Hang out there for a moment. Stretching long, feeling that length in the hamstrings, feeling the length behind the knees. Hands are where you need them to be. Let the head drop, let the head be relaxed. Walk your, your we're gonna walk our feet out wider in just a moment. Bending one knee and then the other, getting a little stretch in the hip. Now clasp onto opposite elbows and let the arms and the head and the torso hang. Take a little gentle sway side to side. Open up your feet a little bit. So take your feet a little bit wider. They can be as wide as your mat or wider than your mat if you would like. And you can add a little bend in the knees. Let the body go a little bit more if it feels good. If you want, take your hands on your upper back if you can. Getting a little stretch back there. And when you're ready, walk those feet back in about shoulder distance apart, hip distance apart. Shake those legs out. Bend the knees slightly as you slowly round up. Try to keep the weight back in your heels. Standing up nice and tall. Nice job, guys. Thank you for joining me for this outside class. I hope that you enjoyed it more videos to come and if you are looking for anything in particular feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you would like to see and i'll do my best to help you out with that until next time have a good day